heavyweights and another Cuban star here at Lima 2019. Here is Landy Savon. It's the 2017 world champion from Hamburg. He's the 2015 Pan American Games reigning champion. Brian Colwell. And his opponent, Brian Colwell, the Canadian. Former youth soccer player before he came into boxing. Will be Savon from Cuba in the red and Colwell from Canada in the blue. In the right corner from Cuba. There is Savon. Nephew of Felix Savant, one of the very best Cuba has ever produced. This man's uncle, he was three-time Olympic gold medalist and the world champion six times in a row. That is the type of stock which Erislandi Savant hails from. Referee David Lorenzo Walker. So the men's heavyweights quarterfinals about to begin. Maris Landy Savant from Cuba is in the red. And Brian Cole of Canada is in the blue. Savant's sheer presence means he is able to just saunter forward and at least in terms of the body language start to dictate the fight. So calm and relaxed in the ring. So typical of Cuban boxers. And when you look at their record here at Lima, it is mightily impressive. Coming into Lima 2019, Cuba have been by far and away the top ranked boxing nation ever since boxing was introduced at the Pan American Games. Over the years, Cuba have picked up 90 gold medals almost three times more as their nearest rival, the United States. Absolute standout nation when it comes to picking up medals in boxing. That is the size of the challenge for Brian Colwell. Just a little tag on the face from Colwell by Savon. Well, most definitely something which the referee will want to keep an eye on. David Lorenzo Walker just warning very lightly. Sav on that. Could well have been a bit stronger. Savon's gamesmanship dispenser, then he's back to trying to serve his dominance. Good jab from the Canadian, and then follows it through with a right. Savon in the red, 28 years old. Bronze medalist from Rio at the last Olympics. That's been a good first round from Colwell. He's managed to get shots in himself. Just got to hold out for the end of the three minutes to bank what he's got in the first round.
Savon racing back to centre ring. He was one of six Cuban boxers to take gold in Toronto in 2015. And he'll be hunting that again. A fall to the canvas from his opponent, Colwell. But just a slip. Savon looks to go with the left. It was a quick duck, needed to beat from Colwell. Straight through the guard. Before Cole will even bring. That's the speed of which Savon can move his fists. And again, so easily. Landing that glove on the head of Colwell. The Cuban coming at his opponent very square. Trying to present a different proposition there, that right cuffs his opponent. Not doing anything by the usual rule book. And that is Cuban boxing in general. Have their own rule book and Savon. He's reading from it at the moment, just keeping the arms below and not seemingly moving that quickly. Of course, all sorts of problems for Colwell, however. Big left that time from the Cuban. Such good range. And again, how many times have those smaller jabs landed and made an impression? End of the second. Real switching fighting plan from Eris Landy Savon. Round three. 
Cuban very fast, back to his work. Jab, fully extended. Hook to the head from Colwell. He's got to keep an extra couple of inches distance. And what he thinks he has to, because this immense boxer from Cuba has an immense reach. It would have caused damage had it landed. Such a relaxed figure, which he's able to cut. of the fight being almost totally dominated by Savon and now he has shots which are landing to go with it he has been patient he has moved his opponent around and he is now picking him off Savon for Cuba is making life very uncomfortable for Brian Colwell from Canada. tries to be the aggressor not easy at the end of three long rounds against a boxer as talented and as powerful as Eris Landy Savon not for nothing is he the Pan American Games champion from four years ago and he will feel very confident about passing through to the next round making it through to the semi-finals and yeah, he's boxing the calmness is showing he's a man for the big occasion and that'll be